Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of a different literary journey I'm embarking on. And this one is focused on my five star authors. So these are authors where um, I had rated their prior book I had read five stars and um, have another book lined up and I'm looking forward to seeing if the five star rating holds um, or how varied it is if it doesn't 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 it's really interesting for me when you have authors you read and you get like salad like four and five stars but if you have one I, I don't know that I've experienced one yet where I've had like a five star and then like a two would be really interesting <laughs> bizarre so I'm kind of curious if they're out there we will find out um, at least with this set of five star reads so the first book I am going to read was by my prior five star author of The Ice Beneath Her by Camilla Grieve. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing her name, but this author is from Sweden. And this book that I have is after she's gone. The cover is a little glossy, so hopefully you can see the cover. Um, so essentially what we're going to have is a situation in this very rural town in Sweden. This town is impoverished and um, struggling with a very um, limited history of murder. Okay, like this is not the town, it's not like the big city, right, where you have multiple murders. But the town has one murder in its history. And we have a couple of investigators that have come. The, that murder is now a cold case, and they're there to investigate it. And one is a psychological profiler. Um, she is going to essentially um, go missing for a very short period of time, come stumbling out of the woods, barefoot, bloodied, scratched up, with zero memory of what has occurred, and the other investigator that is with her is flat out missing. Um, there is going to be one witness to her sub emergence from the woods, um, a young woman in a sequin dress. Um, but their police, she doesn't come forward to talk to the police, and that is because that woman does not exist. Um, we are going to have uh, an adolescent boy who um, I'm not clear yet if the boy is transgender or a transvestite, likes to dress in female clothing or actually identifies as female, but he is going to be the one that will have adorned himself um, in a dress and then bore, bore witness to this woman escaping from the woods um, and hence be very hesitant to come forward to the police um, about uh, what he witnessed um, and what the victim may have said to him. Um, so I love the fact that that um, component is going to be woven in. Um, I, yeah, I just, I'm really intrigued to have um, that element um, as well. And of course, I always love reading um, books that are from authors set in their respective countries to really get that feel for countries outside of the United States. So really excited about that book. Then after that, I am going to be reading The Familiar Dark by Emmy Engel. So this book previously um, by this author, what, uh, the head five stars for me, was The Roanoke Girls. Um, so for The Familiar Dark, this book is going to be about a small town in the United States, um, and we're going to have two um, preteen or teenage girls who are viciously murdered in this very, very small town. Um, and the mother um, of the town basically knows that the police force there isn't the best, um, isn't very equipped. Um, her own brother is on the police force, but she's really going to take it upon herself um, to, to look into what happened to her daughter. Um, so this one you can see, fairly thin read, um, and we'll move through that um, hopefully quickly. And then... Okay, then I'm going to read the book Himself by Jess Kidd. I just love this cover. This cover is so stunning. So Jess Kidd wrote Things in Jars, which I read, I think it was last year, and absolutely, absolutely loved her writing style. So I'm really curious um, to read how she tells this particular story. Um, this story is going to be about a, a boy, Mahoney, who was abandoned as an infant at an orphanage. And... Um, finds out that it wasn't so much that he was abandoned, it's that his mother disappeared. So we're going to have that little bit of mystery element to this book as well. Um, then he is going to essentially go back to the rural Irish village um, that his mother came from to 
understand more about her and about what might have occurred. Um, and his, the course of his coming to this hometown of his mom's is going to lead to secrets in the history um, that the town has been keeping, I guess, under wraps, I'll say, um, kind of coming out. So um, beautiful, just beautiful cover. I'm just going to show you that one again. And then finally, this is going to be a four book journey. I am going to read High White Sun by J. Scott Todd. This author had written the book The Far Empty that I gave five stars to. So this book is a sequel to The Far Empty. Um, the rest of the books are not sequels. Um, so High White Sun, we met our main character in The Far Empty, and he is now the sheriff of this Texas town um, due to the passing on of the prior sheriff, who really was corrupt. Um, so our main character is going to struggle with kind of revamping the structure of his department and getting them a little bit more in line with the, the law, the law. Um, and, you know, I love what I remember from the first book is the component of the culture in Texas um, was deeply woven into the story. And so I'm looking forward to seeing that kind of come to life as well. There will be a murder. And in the course of them investigating it and then having the feds come in, um, our main character is going to be struggling both with um, the town in which he is now you know, working to protect, but also um, revamping, recreating this new um, organization from a police force component, as well as coping with the feds. Um, that are coming in. So I'm really looking forward to, there is so much more to this book and I will, of course, in the reviews go through it. Um, but this author is just, I, I just remember being so both surprised. When I went into The Far Empty, I did not expect neither the writing nor the entertainment um, that I got out of that book. So I'm really looking forward to finally getting to Highway Sun by J. Todd Scott. Um, so that is it for this literary journey. As always, I'll book li are linked below if you're interested in purchasing any of them. And if you do decide to join me um, on this journey, let me know as well. Or if you've read any of these books, would love to hear your thoughts. And other than that, let's go read some books. Happy reading.